Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Origins Myths and Mysteries. Again, today we're going to be looking at another X and Y theory, so I hope you all enjoy it. Unfortunately, this is going to be a fairly short video, as I've had to just, you know, spend a little less time of it because of the recent changes with my channel, but I hope you guys uh, don't mind it too much. I saw a lot of comments relating to this theory in the last, on in comments on the last episode, so I hope you guys um, appreciate the fact that I'm actually doing it. So, um, last time we looked at the DNA references, and someone uh, tweeted me actually saying that when a Pokemon Mega evolves, you actually see the symbol above their head, and I saw a couple of comments about it as well. Uh, it's the DNA symbol sort of thing. Yes, uh, obviously that is again relating to Mega Evolutions and DNA. As I said, I just you know forgot about it really, and a lot of people kept saying, "Oh, that little, little symbol in the uh, logo is the Mega Evolution symbol." No, it's not. It's also a DNA double helix. It's interchangeable. You can't look at, for example, um, you know, a, a Pokeball and say that's the Pokemon logo, and then no, it's also a Pokeball. Something along those lines is what I'm trying to think of there, guys. It wasn't a huge, uh, really great example, but you know what I'm trying to get at there. Um, and then, obviously, in the comments on the last episode, uh, I did see this theory, and the theory was what well, we have Pokemon X and Y coming out. Many of us are expecting a Pokemon Z or a Pokemon Z. Um, and I would like to say, if, if you guys ever did you know, some sort of maths at school, which I'm hoping you did, um, you remember or know that the the 3D planes are X, Y, or the 2D planes are X and Y axis, and then if you have a 3D plane in there, you have the Z axis as well, so X, Y, Z, so you know, that would uh, make it a good trio, surely, and obviously X, Y, and Z is, you know, generally known for trio as a trio anyway, but this is the first Pokemon game to be in 3D, thanks to the 3DS, so maybe that relates to it as well, because we have X, Y, and Z, the three dimensions, and this is the first Pokemon game in or Pokemon Generation in 3D, so maybe it relates to that. What do you guys think? I'd like you to discuss this in the comments below, and if any of you make uh, pick up any interesting points, I will certainly respond to you. So guys, thank you for watching, I hope you didn't mind this shorter little episode here, but um, next week or the week after, you'll be seeing some more myths and mysteries with X and Y theories. So guys, thank you for watching, I'll be seeing you guys next time, goodbye.